we're back. It's been a long time since we vlogged. The last time we filmed was at Anfield when we drew 1-1, 10 men. But we're back today here at the bridge, as you can all see. And um, I'm just about to read the lineups for you, okay? So we've got Mendy in goal. We've got Chalaber in the defence. Obviously, a lot of problems with that side. He's one of the few players who has actually got his contract situation sorted out. Unlike Rudiger, unlike Christensen. Um, and obviously, we've got so many injury problems as well. So it's nice to have him there. We've got Silva and Rudiger as well alongside. And Alonso as left wing back. Hopefully, he can perform. He loves a good goal. Um, this would be the kind of game to get it. Um, because we are really, really struggling. We had a tough December. And January doesn't look like it's getting any easier. We've got um, Kovacic and Kanti in that midfield. There's a slight debate whether Jorginho was going to start. But it seems like he does need a bit of a rest. He's been playing a lot of games. Scoring a lot of penalties. Um, and to be honest with you, we could have used something like that because Lukaku is not playing today. Not in the starting eleven. not even on the bench. Deservedly so after his comments. I'm not going to go too much into it, but I think we can all agree that if there's one player that does not deserve to start this game, it was Lukaku. However, I still say you've got to support all the players while they still are on the pitch. We've got Aspilicueta at the right wing back spot and then we've got Havertz, Mount and Pulisic as a front three and quite dynamic, lots of energy in there, lots of pace, going to be looking to cause lots of problems for that defence of Liverpool and obviously with the lineups for Liverpool as well. No Alisson in goal, he's not playing. They've got Kelliger, Van Dijk, um, oh, it's a tough one, Tismakas, <laughs> Alexander Ronald, Konate, Henderson, Milner who's back in the squad. You know, he's bringing a bit of experience. It's a big game for them. They need these three points just as much as we do. And then you've got Salah, Jota and Mane. They're unstoppable front three. No Firmino in that starting eleven. Um, you know, it's not going to be an easy game, guys. But I do think um, we have what it takes to get that three points. <laughs> Both teams pressing high. It's, the intensity is really high in this game. And, you know, it's difficult to keep up with because both sets of fans are so up for it. It's a vital game for both teams. Technically, we start, still are in the title race, but we need the three points, and they do as well. And you can see the fans back in the team as well, which is the most important thing. so positive you can't really complain that's all you're looking for just go for him and again come on mason small things to make a big difference Giving the ball away like that, it's never going to help. But the fans are behind the team, and all you can do is support. We can't keep giving the ball away in these positions. We're going to concede again if we keep doing this. There's been a bit of a clash between Jota and Mason Mount. Didn't look like anything much. It's a big game. What do you expect? A few pushes, a bit of shoving. But they're checking something. So hopefully it's not a red on our side. Otherwise, the two. Okay, good. Nothing. 
decision. I don't even know why they checked it, to be honest with you. so simple for them. It's like we have to play a hundred passes to score, they have to play two. Intricate football, especially compared to what we normally do. A lot of one touch, Kante playing great stuff. Chandler, he did make a bit of a mistake to be fair to him. Not his best performance at the beginning, but the way we bounced back. I mean, Blake, it's been a while since I've done a review like this. But when will we come back from 2 0 down in that way in the first half? I didn't see it happening, not one bit. We were playing abysmal football. It shows how much we need Chilwell, how much we need James. As much as I hate it, I thought this game was calling out for Lukaku. Turns out, doesn't matter, bin him off, whatever. I'm, I'm still shaking a little bit, still shaking a little bit. I have to admit, I completely agree. I was thinking of it, thinking, we don't have a big man up front, someone we can hoof that ball up to. Lukaku was exactly what we needed. Although, I think me and you, everyone that, that really does understand the situation can agree. There was no way Lukaku was ever going to start this game. There was no way he deserved to start the game. And thank God, because what a team performance. We don't need to open up. We're playing as a collective. I mean, Kovacic, goal of the season. I mean, it was just fantastic. And he doesn't score many, but when he does, it's bloody good. And what would you have to say as well about that front three for Liverpool? Because even though we've come back, they are dangerous. They're very dangerous. The, the thing that worries me is Mane and Salah on Alonso and Espelipeta. They're not the fastest people in the world. We all know it. They're getting a bit old now. It's getting back. It's getting back. It's, it's worrying, but I think we can do it. Those two goals are vital. If we hadn't scored those two goals, there's actually no chance. Now we've got a chance. We don't know. We don't know what's happened. But on Alex's point, Lukaku, the same as uh, Ariza Malaga, he had to be shipped out for at least one game, sit on the bench, fuck off. But all I can say is, I thought it was going to be a practical performance. It's been the complete opposite. I said one at the beginning. Now I don't even have a prediction. It's a crazy game. What are you thinking, Blake? I never predict those games. Superstition, superstition. <laughs> bring it on, boys. Bring it on. Up the chest. 
sweating. I'm about to take off my hoodie. So it's 2-2. Two -two. I mean, what a game. You saw, you saw me probably, you know, just before in the vlog. I had my t-shirt on. Oh, I was sweating buckets by half time. I don't know what happened. We went 2-0 down. It was one of those games you're thinking, we're not really playing bad football here, you know. We, we, it's a lot of one-touch possession play. I thought Kante was phenomenal in that first half. Kovacic a little bit rusty at, at, at the beginning, if I'm being honest with you. But how he redeemed himself, not just with that superb goal, but in the second half as well. It was worthy of a man of the match performance. Mendy making crucial saves from Mohamed Salah and Sadi El Mani as well. There's so much quality there in that front three. Jota, the interplay, the way they're switching, causing problems, going in behind and dropping deep. It's so, so hard to keep up with that intensity. But we didn't just keep up with it. We matched it. We dominated. Possession-wise, I thought we played better football. But it just took them less passes to actually get through on goal. So it's one of those, it's one of those things where you could just contradict playing styles. But actually, I think what Thomas Tuchel did, Thomas Tuchel did today really worked well, especially not having Lukaku, um, you know, playing Havertz, Mount and Pulisic. I thought, I thought they were all... Well, I thought Havertz could have played a little bit better in all honesty, but Pulisic's amount, especially Pulisic, I thought he was brilliant today. The energy levels, the intensity, whipping in crosses, causing problems. And then as well with Rudiger and Silva, um, you know, they were fantastic. And Chalabra obviously coming off um, a little bit later on in the game. He had a start, he had a difficult start, especially with that first goal we conceded. Not the best heading ability. We've seen better from him. Um, but, you know, he came back and did well. And also, massive shout out to Asper Laqueta because he's just such an underappreciated player. And if it is true that he is going to go to Barcelona, I can say on behalf of all Chelsea fans, you know, we'll miss you a lot because what a servant you've been for the club. And uh, what, what a representative of what Chelsea Football Club is about. But thank you, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. It's been a pleasure and I hope you enjoy.